what's up y'all i'm just here sitting at work it's real slow and quiet so i was like why not come with a story time and i know i'm looking mess. y'all probably like this bitch at work like this but yes i'm at work like this because i got kind of a laid back job to where i'm the only person that's really here so it's nobody here to really be like you know but um I'm going to tell y'all a story how I used to fuck with this crazy ass nigga. Like, not crazy like crazy, but like crazy. So, the way I met him is a story time within itself. So, I'm not going to go into details about exactly like how we met, but I'll tell a little bit of what we met. So, basically, this was like in 2009, 2010. Um, a friend of mine that I've been knowing for a couple i know i know him for years like ever since i was like 14 back then i maybe was like 18 or 19 19 or 20 somewhere in that range like between 18 and 20 but my partner had called me or whatever with a play to make some money so i'm like yeah like cool what's up what i gotta do so he like meet me at the gas station and i'm gonna tell you all about it so i met him at the gas station when i pulled up I got out the car, I walked up to his car, it's him and two dudes that i never seen before. So he ran in down the play or whatever, and I'm like, okay, sounds good to me, you know? So he like, just follow me. So I ended up following him to the place where we went. Um, whatever took place then took place, and we end up leaving, going back to his spot. So when we get to his spot, it's a whole bunch of games being played about my motherfucking money. So right there, that was an issue for me. So I started tripping, like, you know, I'm on my, like, you know, I'm getting what I'm getting. I don't know about y'all. I don't care what y'all say. Like, I'm leaving with this. Y'all about to cough up my money. Like, you know, like, if, you know, I want my, my issue too. So while I'm going off and I'm saying everything that I say, I noticed his partner just like hella looking at me, like smirking, like he liked that. Like, you know, like he, he was feeling me, like he was feeling how I was, um, basically standing up for myself and not taking no shit like you know because i was with the shit that's i was like 18 19 20 back then i was with the shit like i didn't give a fuck so i peeped him staring at me so you know after i see him staring at me i'm doing extra shit just you know not extra extra but i still made my point got my shit and i'm like all right i'm out so as i'm leaving my partner end up coming outside he stopped at the car he just hollering at me like basically like you know he's sorry that this shit went bad like he thought it was gonna be better than that or what you know he just sorry that the shit didn't work out the way it was supposed to work out so i'm talking to him when i get ready to pull off i'm like all right blood bye but it's the friend is like right behind him but i'm just i'm peeping like he choosing like he was on me so I'm looking at him. Then I look at my friend like, all right, bye, I'm gone. So as I'm pulling off, dude, like, bye, baby. So I stop. <laughs> not really like hurt like that, but I stop. I'm like, what? I'm not your baby. He like, but do you want to be? I'm like, boy, quit playing. Like, how old is you? I'm like, I'm. you ain't ready for me. You know shit that bitches do or whatever, so... I'm doing a little back and forth, excuse me, thing. And anyway, long story short, we exchanged numbers. I think I, I think I was like, you give me your number. I'm pretty sure I asked for his number instead of giving him mine because that's the type of girl I was back then. Like, I'll call you when I want to talk to you. So I had got his number. I don't think I called the same day. I think I called like three days later. And um, he wanted to see me. He like, I want to see you. But I was at work. That's back when I worked at Rainbow in Acorn. So you know that was hella long ago. So I'm like, boy, mm -mm. like, I can't be having you pull up to my job like that. But I still let him come. So him and his partner end up pulling up on me. And um, we was talking. We chilled on my lunch break. He left. After that, every day we was on the phone talking, like, you know, just chopping it up. We wasn't really getting, like, we was getting to know each other, but it still was a lot of shit that I did not ask or did not know about him. So, 
um, some time go by, I end up kicking with him. I think this was the first time that I ever kicked it with him besides at my job. I had pulled up on him and picked him up. So we end up parking like in the hood where he be at. And here come a car pulling up hella crazy on my car. And she, a female bounce out. And she, um, cause I'm sitting in my car and he like standing outside of the car talking to me. So she pull up on him. She doing hella shit going on and on about something like, you know, they daughter had got jumped or something like that. And she was just like going bad on him. Like, yeah, like you're not answering the phone. Everybody calling you, you know, she going bad. So he telling me like, pull off, pull off, pull off. And I'm looking like, what the fuck you mean pull off? Like, nigga. Like, you told me to come over here. Like, this your female. But anyways, it really didn't matter because I wasn't fighting over a nigga that wasn't mine anyway. So, I ended up leaving because he went to go handle that shit with his daughter. Like, somebody had jumped on his daughter. So, after that, like, I was kind of threw off a little bit. So, I wasn't really like, you know, I kind of fell back. Like, I ain't about to be answering his phone calls. Like, from my knowledge, I didn't even know he had no kids or nothing. Like, but then again, I never had asked. So, how could you know? Um, some time went on and we ended up talking and we kicked it a couple of more times after that. And then at this time, this, at this time, after we kicked it a couple of uh, more times, I'm like in my brotherhood and I start seeing like, oh, he be over here. Like where my brother be at, like, you know, like he from the hood. Um, so it's kind of becoming known like that we messing around with each other. Like, cause he like, that's mine. Like this, my female, of course I'm telling, I'm not denying it. I'm just going along with it. Like, yep, that's my nigga. Like that's my nigga. And eventually he ended up really being my nigga after that. So like six months down the line, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going too, too far ahead. So once it get out, like we fucking with each other, like really, really fucking with each other, motherfucker, seeing him walk up on me, kiss me, give me money. Like they seeing us fucking with each other tough. So my brother peeped the situation and he like, he not really feeling that shit because this nigga, a hot boy, he telling me like, you know, he really in the streets. Like, you got to be careful. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Like, motherfuckers get you trying to get to him because he be doing hella hot shit. So, you know, me, I'm young. I'm not trying to hear none of that. He not the only one that told me that. So many people kept telling me, like, be careful with that nigga. Like, that nigga be, like, moving. He and a lot of shit. Like, people want his head. But, you know, when you young and you meet a nigga or you meet a person that you like, you don't be wanting to hear nothing what nobody got to say. You be like, that's my nigga. I'm going to stick beside him. Like, yeah, that's mine. I'm going to stick behind him. Like, that's how I was. Like, this my nigga. Like, I don't, like, I ain't going nowhere. Like, this my nigga. So, like, six months down the line, I get a phone call. Like, this boy then got shot in the head. So, naturally, I'm panicking. I'm thinking... You know, he about to die or something. You know a motherfucker crazy when they get shot in the head and they don't die. So, God forgive me. Not That's not even funny, but I really feel like that. Like, only a crazy motherfucker could su survive a bullet in the head. But it, it, it like, um, grazed him, but it knocked the chunk off. But anyways, um... Yeah, so I got that phone call. Like, he had got shot up in the head. Of course, I'm panicking. I'm so scared. I want to see him. Um... I didn't get to see him at the hospital because out here, like, when when you get shot and you go to Highland, like, they put you under, like, an alias or something and nobody allowed to come but, like, the parents. So, I wasn't able to see him, but short, like, a few days later after he got out of the hospital, we ended up leaking up. And my brother, you know, he had told me, like... He, it's not cool to fuck with him. So he was like, you can't be fucking with him out here. So I'm like, I really love this nigga. Like I'm about to go get an apartment out the way so we could be together. So I end up going to find me a place out the way so we could be together. So that's what I did. I found me a place out the way to where we could be together. And I, I still was working in Oakland though. So when I would come back to Oakland, he would drop me off at work, and at this point, I'm working at McDonald's. So, he would drop me off at work, and he would be in my car all day. Big mistake. Big, big, big mistake. If you fuck with a hood nigga, 
and he out in the streets and he got a lot of shit going on, don't wrap yourself up in that shit. Don't let no nigga be up in your car, driving your car, because you don't know what a motherfucker be on when they in your car. You don't know who be seeing them driving your car. Like, you just don't know. So, one day when I got off of work, I go pick him up. This this day, he didn't drive my car. I drove myself to work because I was kind of mad at him. I really was, like, on some shit. Like, I'm not fucking with this nigga. Like, you know? Something had happened to where we got in an argument, and I was like, I wasn't really fucking with him, but he had called me that day, like, I just want to go home, I want to go home. This is, like, this is like a few months after I moved out the way so we could be together. So he called me, like, I want to go home, like, I'm going home with you. When you get off, don't forget to pick me up. So when I pick him up, it's him and one of his friends, and I'm just like irritated because i already had told him like i didn't want to be around his friends like i don't like this nigga don't gotta come home with us every time we go home like what is y'all is y'all fucking or something like what the fuck that's the like that's how i was really feeling because this nigga used to always be with him all the time so i'm like he don't always gotta go home with us but for some reason that night i was scared mind you i never be scared when i be with this nigga like i really be out and about thugging it with him going wherever we going like not thinking twice about it but that night all the signs were so clear, like, he shouldn't have got in my car. Like, it just seemed like shit was looking, uh, like, moving in slow motion. People was looking funny that, like, was around when I picked them up. Like, it just, I felt weird. My camera had cut off, but I was saying that night just didn't feel right. So, when we pull off from the place where I picked them up off, at, I just feel weird. So, we pull off. The friend in the back seat, I'm hella irritated. Like, I don't know why this nigga always got to come with us. Like, I didn't want him in my car. So, we pull, we drive down, we hit the corner, we come to a stoplight. We at the stoplight, and I look over, it's a car full of niggas. But the, the car is, like, a green car with tents. But you can, like, kind of see, like, the person in the front seat. The, the front seat windows wasn't tinted, but the back seat was, and it just looked like a shady car. So, when I looked over, the window was down, but I'm, like, listening to the music. I'm looking at him, and something just say, turn around. And when I turn around, it was like they had cracked the window just a little bit and stuck a gun out and just shot through my window. So, imagine being me in the driver's seat. I'm looking at my nigga. I'm smiling, like, because the song that's playing is, like, you know, one of those little cute songs. I think it was uh, Rick Ross. Driving to the music. This is how we do it. Oh, and I, I still can't listen to that song to this day because of this incident. So, I'm looking at him. Once I turn my head from him, everything just went into slow motion. Like, I look and just, boom, like, the, the window just shattered, like, all the glass hit my face, hit my neck. Like, my first thing I thought to do was just put my head down. So, I put my head down and I pressed the gas. But when I did that, I somehow hit the the, the shift stick into neutral. So, I'm pressing the gas. So, it sounded like I'm burning rubber, but I didn't even go nowhere. Luckily, that happened because the car tried to take off with us. So, when I did that, the car, like, skirted off, too, because it was trying to stay on the side of us to shoot. Um, uh, he, like, try be careful with who you fuck with. This nigga said, try B, you gonna get me killed. I'm gonna get you killed. Nigga, you gonna get me killed. So... <laughs> <laughs> so he ended up hitting the car back into drive. So when he did this, the car just took off and spanned. I I ran into a bus. The bus, uh, I ran into the bus. I spanned again, and then I ran into a building. So at this car, my at this point, my car is fucked, and I'm just feeling like I got hit in the neck because my neck was hurting so bad. And then like I had like holes in my shirt, like the like like maybe because like how this is like the bullets like skid in my shirt, so I had holes in my shirt. That was nothing but God with me because nobody in the car got hit. Um, I actually had like a bullet hole like right in the seat where my head was at. So luckily I did go down when I went down. But I kept feeling like I got hit in the neck. But the reason it felt like that is because when the glass shattered, a piece of glass was stuck in my neck. Um, that was the craziest shit I ever been through. So after we crashed... 
he get out the car. I'm like, I'm crying because I'm like, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm about to die. Like, I was panicking. I was really panicking. And it's crazy because you always say what you would do if a situation happened to you. But when you in that situation, in that moment, you never know how you're going to react. I froze up. Like, I really froze up. I remember talking about shit like that with my friends. Like, oh, I'm going to get up out of there. Like, I drive hella good. I'm going to get up. No. Com completely froze up. Almost got myself killed. Well, he almost got me killed, but um, I'm like, oh, my neck, my neck. So he he gets out the car. He come around. He opened my door. He checking me. He checking my body. He like, you okay? You like, you okay? Come on before these niggas come back. Become before they come back. So I I got out the car. I started to run with them, but then I started thinking to myself like, what the fuck I'm running with him for? These niggas is the reason that they shot. You know what I'm saying? So I turn around and go the opposite way from him. Um, I went back to look at my car. My car was totaled. Um, we was right down the street from my auntie house. So I walked to my auntie house. I'm hyperventilating. As a matter of fact, I'm lying. I didn't walk to my auntie house. The ambulance was right there. The ambulance had ended up coming because when, when I hit the bus, the bus stopped. Before I ran with them, no, no, no. The bus stopped. So when I ran back from with them, I jumped onto the bus. It was like a party bus or something. So the people on the bus is like, uh-uh, get her off of here. Get her off of here. With, you know, they didn't want to help me. I'm like, please help me. Please help me. Like, I was, like, in shock. They wanted me off their bus. They kicked me off their bus. When I got off the bus, I walked back to my car, and the ambulance pulled up. So now I'm in the back of the ambulance. I'm just huffing and puffing, and they telling me, calm down before I go in shock because my heart rate was so high. It was beating so fast. They asked me, did I want to go to the hospital? I didn't go to the hospital. I just uh, let them tow my car, and I walked back to my auntie house, and I had my dad come get me and take me back home out the way. So I went back home out the way. I called my job. I told them what had happened. I was scared to go to work because I was 100% sure that the person in the passenger seat seen me. And I just was paranoid. Like, what if they come back or what if they run into me and try to get rid of me? Because I know, like, I know what they look like. So I was like in, um, I had like PTSD. Like I was scared. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to come out of my house. I didn't want to talk to him. He was calling me. I was ignoring his calls. And then I finally answered. I let him come over. Um, I let him come over like a few days later. And it just was different. After that, I just was like, I'm cool. Um, I think I fucked with him for a little while longer. But it was bad. Like my brother... The night that that happened, my brother ended up coming to my auntie's house because some one of his friends seen my car backed into the building around the corner and they had heard the gunshot. So he thought something had happened to me when he walked in and he seen me. He like, see, I told you, I told you. Like he was more like, like I told you so. Like you know, like you didn't want to listen. That's what happened when you don't listen. Like I been told you. Now look where this nigga at. Now what you gonna have? What 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 what? what, what is he gonna buy you another car because the car i had my brother had bought for me he like is he gonna buy you another car like you know he was just doing what big brothers do and just basically scolding me for not listening for not listening and um yeah that's that's my story time about fucking with a like my crazy ex slash getting shot at story um it was some more shit like that happened between us that I left out because I really just like a little embarrassed and don't feel the need to put that out there. But that nigga used to do all kind of shit to me. Like we didn't um, got into it. Like I, I threw an iron at the nigga head after he had got shot in the head because he was disrespecting me in my house. After I moved all the way out the way to be with you, you're going to come in my house and disrespect me. And I, I no matter of fact, I threw a cup at his head. And he, he threatened to burn me with the iron. That's what happened. I threw a cup at the wall and it ricocheted off the wall and hit him in the head. Mind you, he had just got shot in the head. I was so scared because I thought I was going to kill that nigga because his head was bleeding. And then he tried to burn me with the iron. Like It's just so much crazy shit that happened in that relationship. I feel like that was one of my first real relationships as far as like living with a nigga or, you know, like, really fucking with a nigga or being through, going through shit with a nigga. 
that was my first real relationship like that. Like, I had deal with niggas, but I never been in a relationship. Like, we really rocking. We live together. Like, you know, we was a real couple. So, that was crazy. And I, I ain't talked to him in hella long. Like, I, I used to uh, kind of keep in contact with him a little bit through social media. But I haven't talked to him in a long time. But yeah, that was my crazy ex slash getting shot at story. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I left out a lot. I wish I could have told y'all more. But I don't really think a lot of shit I should say on YouTube. Because like I said, I'm really from like the hood. Like I'm from West Oakland. And like I've been through some shit. I done seen some shit. And I know some shit. And I just feel like this is not the platform to put that shit out on. And I just don't want to be, like, I don't want to be, I don't know. I want to be open with y'all, but I don't want to be putting the...